In this video we're going to show you how to upload your company's logo and other graphics to your listing on IndustryNet. Open your web browser and go back to IndustryNet.com. You'll need to log back into your IndustryNet account. This is the account that you created when you claimed your company's listing. Generally the site will keep you logged in so you should see your name up here in the right hand corner. If you do you can click on that to go right back to your account dashboard. If you see a login button it simply needs, means that you need to log back into the site. So go ahead and click on your name and you'll be taken back to your account dashboard and you should see the listing here for your company and the icons should be in blue meaning that you've been approved and you can now manage that listing. What we're going to want to do is locate the company that you want to upload the logo for and click on the manage listing icon, the button here that appears all the way on the left side. When you click on that you're going to want to scroll past the section labeled product and service categories and scroll down to the section for listing graphics. And you'll see here there's three different graphics that we can upload, a small logo, a large logo, and cover art. The small logo is what appears on the search results page. So if I go to the category for my company, mailing lists, you'll see here's my company and I have no logo currently uploaded. So it's showing this watermark of the industry net logo, that's the default graphic. But that's where that small logo appears and that only appears for featured listings. So if you have a preferred listing or a free listing and you upload a small logo, it will not appear unless you have upgraded to a featured listing. So that's a benefit for featured listings. The next graphic is the large logo. This is the logo that appears on your company's listing page. So if I pull up the listing page for my company, you'll see here this is the large logo and I do not have a logo uploaded currently. So again, I'm seeing the watermark of the industry net logo, which is the default. This large logo will actually appear for any listing. So whether you have a featured, a preferred, or a free listing, you can upload a large logo and it will appear on your company's listing page. And then finally here's the cover art. The cover art is this large graphic that appears at the top of your listing page and you can upload a custom graphic, this here, this gray mesh, this is the default that appears if you have not uploaded a graphic, but you can upload a custom graphic that will further brand your company and, and help your listing stand out from other listings on IndustryNet. And the cover art graphic is available for featured or preferred suppliers. So whether you're a featured or a, a prefer, preferred supplier, um, you can upload that cover art graphic and it will appear on your company's listing page. So let's take a look at each one of these quickly and we'll work backwards through them and I'll show you exactly how to upload and where they'll appear. The first one here, um, cover art, uh, this is a very unique size, typically um, companies will need the help of a graphic designer to get it into the right dimensions. You can see it's a very long rectangular graphic, but it needs to be 2000 by 200 pixels and the file type must be a PNG or a ping file, a GIF or GIF file, or a JPG which is a JPEG file. These three are the most common web graphics. So that shouldn't be an issue, but again, this is a very unique size, 2000 by 200 pixels. So once you have that graphic made, go ahead and click on the plus sign, and this is going to bring up a dialog box from your computer, and it's going to allow you to locate and click on the graphics file that you've specified for this. So um, you'll notice here I'm looking at my desktop, and on my desktop I've placed three files, my cover art, my large logo, and small logo. So I'm uploading my cover art, I'm just going to want to click on it, and click open, and it'll go ahead and upload that and refresh the page, and now when we scroll down we'll see my cover art appears here. And again, this is the graphic that appears at the top of my company's listing page. So if I go back to the listing page and hit refresh, you'll see now that gray mesh graphic disappears and in its place is the cover art graphic that I uploaded moments ago. So again, this will further brand my company. These are graphics that are specific to our business, so if you were to look at our social media profiles or at our website, you'd notice variations of these graphics and that can appear for the featured or the preferred listings. If at any point I want to upload a new graphic for this, if I just click on it, it'll again bring up that dialog box and I can upload a fresh graphic to overwrite the one that's there. So now let's take a look at the large logo. This is just a square graphic, 225 by 225 pixels, so most companies should have direct access to a square logo for their business. And again, it can be in these three 
common web graphic formats, ping, GIF, or JPEG. And what you want to do again, just click on the plus. And I've already created it, MNI large logo. I'm going to click on it and click open. It uploads that, and now I'll see it appear here. So let's go back to the listing page and refresh again. And we'll see now, now it appears there. So that's our large logo, and again, this is something that any company, whether you're featured, preferred, or free, can upload to their listing page uh, to help brand their company. You can put your logo in there. And um, once again, if I want to upload a new copy of that graphic, I just click on it, and I can select it and upload it again. Before I show you the small logo, what I want to show you is if you are a featured advertiser, a featured listing, which we are here, and you only upload a large logo, the system will automatically use that large logo on the results page. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh, and you'll notice here now you can see that same large logo that we uploaded also appears in a smaller format. The system automatically resized it down and is using it in the results page. Now, I can stop right there if I want, but what I actually want to do is I want to upload a slightly different variation of this logo for the results page. I feel like with the black background that this looks a little too boxy to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a version of my logo on a white background that's smaller and it'll be used just here. So we'll go back to the account and we're under listing graphics still. Here where it says small logo, this one is 100 by 100 pixels and again can be a ping, a GIF, or a JPEG. And this even indicates that a white or a transparent background is preferred because, again, it just kind of looks a little boxy when you have a dark background on the results page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on the plus, and I'm going to upload the graphic that I made called MNI Small Logo. And this is a version of our logo that is on a white background. And it also fits the 100 by 100 pixel specs. So now what I have is a small logo on a white background and a large logo on a dark background. So if I go to the results page and I refresh this, you'll see now I have a much nicer looking logo that appears here. It's on a white background and um, it, it just it doesn't look as boxy or square. But when I still go to my company's listing page, and I'll refresh the page just to show you, this large logo is still the one that appears here. So I can have two variations of it, and it's just to give you a little bit more flexibility and customizability in terms of the graphics. And just like with the rest of these, if I want to upload a new one, I just click right on the logo, and again, the dialog box comes up. I can choose a new file and upload that. So just to recap, the small logo, this is for featured listings only. This is the logo that appears in the search results next to your business, and this really helps your business stand out. We have the large logo. That's what appears on your company listing page. This is available for all listings, featured, preferred, and free. And then we have the cover art graphic that appears up at the top of your listing page right in here. And this is available for featured or preferred listings. Free listings, uh, it does not show. Um, but regardless of the status of your listing, whether you're free, preferred, or featured, the system will allow you to upload all three of these graphics. They just won't appear if you're not at the appropriate level. And the, the good thing about that is you can go ahead and upload all these elements, and if at some point in the future you decide to upgrade to preferred or featured, and you already have those graphics uploaded, they will just automatically appear at that point.